Welcome back to Worthington Motor Railway and today we have another package from Rails of Sheffield which contains, I hope, or I think, uh, the Iron Mink vans that they recently released. So uh, a couple of other things there as well. Let's open it up and then we take a detailed look at these uh, Iron Mink vans. Yeah. Oh yeah, a couple of things. I, I, this, uh, this was on in their bargains bin, and uh, so that I could definitely find a use for it on the layout. Um, it's a Seamcraft incline winding house, and I have just the right place to put that. So we'll put that on the layout at some point. Um, also. They had on sale these uh, Dapple m m motorized water crane with sound, so we'll uh, grab one of those because they were half price. Um, quite know what this is. Oh, it was a Stania Corridor coach that I, I grabbed. I think again, it was probably in the bargain section and. I'm always one for a bargain, so uh, we'll look at that later. And yes, these are the Iron Mick vans. Um, so, um, can't really see too much, but uh, we'll open these up and look at these in considerably more detail. Oh boy, kind of got these. Taped up a bit here. There we go. So, uh, the number of these, both in uh, British Rail Grey and in uh, Western Grey, Great Western Grey. So, we'll look at those in a little bit more detail. So, let's take a closer look at these uh, rails collection of uh, mink vans. Um, they come in two different liveries. Uh, well, actually, they come in three different liveries. They come in an early uh, Great Western livery. They come in this late Great Western grey, and then they come into the, in the British Railways grey. Both of these would be sort of suitable for my layout, and they're probably kind of interchangeable because they were possibly on the railway at about the same time. Um, this being at the end of its a livery and this being at the beginning of its livery at that time um, the detail is okay uh, the, 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 these are obviously from uh, Depol um, you know if we look at them there's some they're nicely put together but there's nothing special about them and I, I'm you can see here on the roof um, I am quite disappointed in in the finish on these. Uh, this one is the same way. It has that mark on the roof, um, and so does this one. It's like they all have got maybe a molding issue that is showing through the paint. Um, the roof on these kind of is sort of better, although um, this one is not that great, and this one is. It definitely has that same problem. Um, this one also has, I don't know if you can see that, but that paint is just uh, it's sort of almost what we'd call orange peel in the in the car trade. Um, very, very poor application of paint on the roofs. Uh, the, uh, the application of the the other pieces on here is uh, let's sort of see if we can zoom in a little bit here on that. Thank you. Yeah. So you know the application of the uh, lettering and things is is okay. The wheels are pretty good. I mean they seem to spin okay. Um, no sprung buffers. Buffers are just as they are. Uh, you'll you'll notice that there's no connectors in here. They they supply little bags with the uh, NEM connectors. 
Um, I suppose you could put chains on the hooks. I, I'm just going to say that for the price of £36 a piece, um, these are, I'm very disappointed in the quality of these, particularly that roof quality. Um, just not, you know, it's, it, it's poor, um, particularly for the price. Uh, that's my uh, that, that that's my quick review of uh, of these wagons. Um, as I say, I'm a little disappointed. I'm sure they'll look fine on the layout. No one's going to be you know looking that closely at them. But uh, certainly for the money, uh, the quality control is very poor on these. Uh, sorry, rails, not a great job. Sorry, dapple, not a great job. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Um, you will see up to the top right a button where you can subscribe to the top left another video. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, it, it really helps in terms of getting this information out there and getting these videos out to the rest of the world. Um, thanks for watching.